right. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Alexandria Papa, um, aka the goofy one. Um, so today I'll be talking about GWAS. Uh, I work at Pfizer. I'm a BA. And so um, we have an IT team specific for Transmart. And we make sure that people that use Transmart are happy with it and all the features that they want are implemented. So I'm constantly meeting with, with Jay and Hugo and the rest of the team with these scientists to um, look at what they're doing, how they're doing it, what would make their lives easier. And so you'll see a lot of um, these new features um, as an extension of that. So we um, currently deployed a version in September last month. <clears throat> We're calling it R2.5. It's off of the Foundation's 1.2.4. And just some, some little numbers here. We have 75 GWAS studies, uh, 2,800 GWAS analyses, and we have 10 billion associated uh, p-values. Um, we're expected to grow 800 analyses a year for the next three years. And as I mentioned before, we have our development team specific for updating Transmart quarterly. And we rank these priorities um, by an internal team. So I'll give you a quick uh, tutorial on it, uh, on GWAS. I'm not sure if you guys use this tab. Um, so it's on the top. Uh, you know, you have your analysis page, which is your, your clinical trial studies, and then you have a tab for GWAS analyses. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see filters that you can filter for studies, and on the main page, you'll see um, your studies. When you expand them, you'll see your analyses. So here we have expanded um, MAGIC, for example. And so as you expand one, this is fasting glucose. Um, you'll start to see your, um, each row is a, is a SNP, and you'll see your p-values. You can download this data directly. There's an export to CSV button here. Um, there are tabs within each analysis, so you can see, uh, for example, a QQ plot that's generated on click. It's also cached. And then you can also see a Manhattan plot. So this is generated on load or on click. And both of these images you can export to PNG, which is pretty cool. As I mentioned on the left-hand side, there is a filter. So uh, you can filter by analysis, data type, um, you know, uh, study uh, region of interest. So here I have um, a specific SIP, SNP that I want to look against. So here I've clicked the, um, that SNP, and you can notice that the filter has now uh, worked for that one study. I've also showed, um, I went against all the studies, and I showed grid view. So you see all that, the, that one SNP across um, all the studies in MAGIC. And this is a, a really nice view, um, instead of opening and closing every analysis. Uh, and you can export this as well. So another um, facet that we've given to the foundation before is, uh, it's called Guava, it's a standalone application. And so what you can do here is you select um, a GWAS analysis, you open the application, and you select a gene. So for example, I have, what is this, PROX1. And here you see the locus zoom plot of that data. And again, you can download this image. Um, you can look at it in a table view. So all these, all these features that we have, we try to make sure, um, and this was requirements from scientists that, that we have at Pfizer, um, to extract the data out. They like, some people like it internally at Pfizer um, within the Transmart application itself, but some people just are like, give me the data. I want to do it myself. We have other applications that we've developed, um, and so we try to accommodate for them. So um, now I'll talk about the features that we delivered to the foundation. It's basically what I presented already. But um, the last time we gave code back to um, the foundation was our version 2.2. And as I mentioned, now we're at 2.5. So there was a little bit of a lag, but there wasn't that much um, difference. Um, you know, there were some like internal Pfizer things that we had to change up. But um, we did provide the, the data to Peter uh, via GitHub branch. And so this is a little bit more technical. Um, and these are, again, all requirements from specific scientists. So I can't talk specifically about a couple of the fields, but I can do my best. Um, so we did add log E uh, odds ratio, log 10 odd ratio, 95% um, confidence, low, high, uh, Planck test uh, statistic. We added um, additional metadata fields. So uh, we have publication, population, sample size, tissue, model name, model description, and trait description. We also added a mesh term hierarchy tree within the analysis metadata tag, so that's pretty cool. Um, 
it's it's very easy now to look at the look at the diseases. And then we also had a new variable for chromosome strand. And as I mentioned before about this Manhattan plot, this is actually brand new um, as of last <coughs> month. So Manhattan plots, uh, generally, we, we didn't have this feature in Transmart at all. And so to be able to generate it on the fly is, is pretty, pretty cool. A lot, of, um, a lot of scientists are pretty excited about it. So uh, we have the ability to generate it nightly or on click if it's not in a cached folder. And uh, as I mentioned here, there are some additional R, R modules um, and some files that need to be updated to accommodate for that, which we've, again, provided to Peter. That's it. Thank you.